First at four, two teens accused of bringing weapons to school make their first appearance before a judge this morning. Both were ordered to be held in the juvenile detention center. Ken's Five reporter Sue Kalberg is live at the Juvenile Justice Center with new information on what the court called a scary situation. Sue? Yes, Deb, this all started at Judson's Veterans Memorial High School yesterday when school officials said they got a tip that there were pictures being posted on social media of weapons. So they took immediate action. They found two kids with two guns. They arrested them, and that's how we got here today. A 16-year-old was first up before Judge William Cruz Shaw. You have the right to remain silent. Family members told the court this teen, who already faced a drug charge last fall, had nobody at home who could adequately supervise him. He had a gun with him at the high school. For this time of order, he remained detained. He's not allowing himself to be adequately supervised. May be a danger to himself or others. The second teen charged is just 15 years old. Prosecutors say he's been here before as well for an assault bodily injury charge just four months ago. His crying mom told the judge she can't control her son, so he too was detained. It feels like he has no consequences for his action. So I think that's the best for him right We lost, I think, seven kids over the weekend to gun violence. He thought it was a good idea to bring a gun to school. Does that make sense? I gotta hear you. Now, children aren't eligible for bond like adults. They have to come back every 10 days for another detention hearing to see if they will remain locked up in juvenile. So these two will remain locked up for now. They'll be back to see the judge again on June 23rd. Live at the Juvenile Justice Center, Sue Kalberg, Ken's Five.